Hello everybody and welcome to another knockoff review. Haven't done one of these for a while, have I? This is the FA-01 Metamorphic Universe. Supreme Elder, aka the Black Mamba, oversized version of the studio series Leader Class, The Fallen. Uh, it's a big boy. He's not huge, huge, but it's definitely a decent size and... Uh, very affordable to boot. And let's quick look around the box. So what you see is pretty much what you get. Same on one, same on the other, with a barcode on the side. Let's crack it open. And here we have him out of his plastic prison. And doesn't he look sensational? He's uh, giving Sam Witwicky a little squeeze there, but oh, colors on this guy. Ah, oh, sensational. Let's get in and take a closer look. Look at these colours. The greens, the purples, really pop. Love the attention to detail. We've got articulated hands there. Really kind of gorgeous paint scheme. Love that face. What a wonderful looking piece, isn't he? Now, how does he look alongside some of the Autobots, for example? These are the oversized versions. Got the KO of the 3.0 Optimus Prime there, who's a smidge kind of shorter than what you get from the likes of Black Mamba and Wei Zhang, but it is my stand-in for the kind of oversized MP. We've got Ironhide there, who's again a Black Mamba oversized. We've got Ratchet, who is the oversized. We've got Bumblebee, who is based on the actual NPM Bumblebee, although this is the legendary toys version. And I've got Human Alliance Skids, I think, or Mudflap, which one's that? We'll call it Scudflap for now. <laughs> And that is the three and three quarter inch version of Shia LaBeouf from Indiana Jones, but I use that as my Sam Witwicky. Now, as you can see, the Fallen is a very tall figure, but he does have the chicken leg stance, so he could be made to be even taller. Uh, you get a little bit of extra out of it. It's the same sort of thing as what we get with Starscream. Speaking of which, how does he look with the Decepticons? TV and idea with the Decepticons. That is the AI mech version of Megatron, I think. It's the tallest one anyway. Uh, so yeah, even him being stooped over, he is a similar sort of height to Megatron. Uh, bigger than Starscream, bigger than Barricade. So maybe a smidge too small, I think. But still a great looking piece. And just for those who like to mix and kind of match, this Prime is the MPM scale Optimus Prime. Uh, yeah, I know mine's damaged, but it's kind of my junker. But you get the idea. And that actually, in my opinion, uh, that, that's massive. I mean, that's absolutely terrifying, but I don't think that scales any better really. I think that's kind of now too big. Right now in terms of accessories, we get this staff, which splits into two and got a couple of pegging points. We can peg those in. A nice detailing along there. And he also comes with the detachable faceplate, which just slides off. And look at that gorgeous face. <laughs> oh, that is, um, that's different, isn't it? It's their face, only a mother could love, I guess. I mean, that, look at the light piping, look at that. That is really nice sculpt. Reminds me very much of kind of Jetfire sculpt as well, but then Jetfire was an old Bot as well, wasn't he? 
love the motion on that head slides up and down into that neck crevice but that just gives us more chance to look at the actual fallen helmet getting gorgeous paint on there this is kind of a flexi plastic and you've got all this piping here so when we slide the face into there we can still get those eyes to light up if the light stands underneath. Uh, wow, easy said than done. Uh, you get these two pods, uh, these kind of rod sections here, like you did with the Studio Series version, and they do kind of work. I mean, the idea of kind of being piston driven, where this can all float up and down, is a great idea and a great concept, but it doesn't work overly well in practice. You kind of just limit the range of motion you've got on those arms. Because I mean, you've got some incredible joints on here. You've got ratchets throughout. If we just detach those for now, you've got hinge here, go up and down on a ratchet as well. You've got bends, double bends on the elbows, rotation on the wrist, bend on the wrist. We've got articulated fingers as well. That's something we didn't have on the original. Uh, still nothing on the waist. You do have legs that can come all the way forwards, all the way back. Out to the side, upper thigh rotation in there. Bend on the knee, bend on the knee. You've got that kind of chicken leg joint here. Die cast all in amongst these legs. And I've got these really big kind of spread feet as well. But yeah, the arms as amazing as they look, they're just not very practical. I mean, you can pop that in. It locks, it can come around. And then with a little bend and a little twist, you can kind of make it work, but I don't know, it doesn't really want to work as well as it should. Uh, but the upside being, it does look good. It looks really good. And he is a sensational looking bot, isn't he? I mean, props to Hasbro the original, and then props to Black Mamba for kind of making this as good as it looks. If you find these videos useful, why not head over to Shozy or Gundammit using the link in the description below. Before you make that purchase, head up to the top of the page on the support your favorite reviewer tab and type in Benz. That'll help support the channel and keep these reviews coming. Right, let's get him transformed up, shall we? Shoulder pieces down, come around to the back, and these pieces is going to slide out. And oh, this has popped off again. There we go. That's not something I know there was problems with the actual Studio Series version, and <laughs> it would appear that the same problems have carried over on to the big bad boy. Right, come around to the front and come away just underneath those armpits, put the face down, and then this is going to rock up, and that's going to cover off that headpiece, and then we want to use this top mounted shoulder section. So we're going on this side, hoping we can actually see. Uh, this comes up, and you want to rotate this one, so this comes Uh, this bit comes out to the side. This is then going to come up and rotate like so. And then when we bring this over, that's going to line up with this tab here. Push and then lock that in. Come down to the legs. Uh, you want to rotate Rotate the knee. Rotate the knee 180 so it faces forwards. Then low, rotate the lower leg 180. So that then faces forwards. Pull the toes down. Whoop. Right, okay. Uh, roll the leg out to the side. So we're looking at something like that. And then these are going to come away from here. Move this up. 
Move this up. There we go. Yep, those are going to come up. And if you look, you've got the retaining tab just here. That's where the knees are going to peg in. And again, if you look underneath here, there's a slot and a groove that's going to push and secure. So come over here, push and secure, push and secure. And then utilizing the double hinge, that we've got here and the arch that we have in the foot. The idea is to come around and plug, ah, it did come detached again, look. <sighs> Sigh. Right, that's where it's meant to plug in. That's then meant to plug into there and that's meant to plug in on there. Like that. <laughs> that is, uh, how it's kind of meant to tab in. Very kind of rampagey, isn't it? Very kind of Beast Wars-esque. Yep. That does tab in, so we have that. And here we have them, fully transformed up into that kind of Cybertronian jet. Definitely kind of gives me a Beast Wars vibe. I've tucked the hands in to the side here. And I've attached the weapons, they just peg in on those legs. Kind of got a, an inferno look to him, hasn't he? But that is kind of what we're looking at. Not his stronger suit, definitely more of a bot mode, isn't he? But still, gorgeous colours and look at the cockpit section going on there. Really nice and vibrant piece. And unfortunately in terms of Robot scale, you know, I could sort that out, but vehicle, don't really have many anymore. Um, got the oversized version of Barricade there, to give you an idea. And of course I've got him kind of gnawing on Sandwick Wiki. It's actually got a very kind of Transformers kind of prime look to it, hasn't it? It reminds me very much kind of Megatron from that. It's uh, definitely kind of a hybrid look to him, but still, that's a good look. It is a good look. Um, vehicle mode, yeah, bot mode, yeah, 110%. This is a definite for those who collect the kind of oversized figures. Maybe a little bit of uh, Kiki or something on those shoulder joints, the ball mounted ones that keep popping off. That may be all it takes to make this good figure an excellent figure. Now, as the advert earlier on suggested, if you do want to support these pages, please pop in Ben's in that influencer section at the top of the show Z page. Huge shout out to Josh this time, uh, part of the Edmonton Transformer Collectors Group. He actually encouraged me to go and get this one. He wanted one for himself, put in a group order recently, and he wanted one of these. And uh, yeah, the temptation was kind of there. So I ordered one for myself as well. I, I am so happy that I did, because this guy's gonna look sensational on display. And it's kind of really inspired me again to kind of go back and get some of those figures that I got rid of when we moved out here. Because uh, the movie verse were sensational, especially the oversized ones. They really did look the part. And yeah, this guy is kind of rekindled my romance for that. So thank you, Shozy, and thank you, Josh. <laughs> Until next time, for myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, thank you very much for watching. Bye.